there. Thank you for tuning in to Dirt Road Believer today for a devotional. My name is Tina. If you caught um, my devotional on Tuesday, you got to meet my mom and my sister, and my dad was there. He's just more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. So I just want to take just a second to wish my daddy a very happy Father's Day. Hope you enjoy your day. Um, we're not able to be together, we live apart, but I hope you enjoy spending time on Sunday with the special fathers in your life this weekend. All right, we're going to jump right into another um, part of scripture where we have a family that is in the midst of a crisis. And just like Tuesday's devotional, it involves a father and two sons. This is the um, prodigal son, and this is a parable. It is the third of three parables in Luke chapter 15, and in it we are going to find ourselves somewhere, trust me. Um, I, my intention today is not to tie it all up with a bow and give us a nice moral to the story. It's to really examine each character and see where, we, where do we find ourselves in our own families um, when we look at these three people. So I would like to start with, well, first of all, this is a parable told by Jesus. And so the three characters represent three um, three different things. So the father represents God. The lost son, the prodigal son, represents the lost and the sinner. And then the brother represents the religious. So we're going to begin right where it starts in, this is Luke chapter 15, if you have your Bibles, and we're starting with verse 11. It says, Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of my estate. So he divided his property between them. So here we have a son who is demanding his inheritance early. That tells us right away he's probably very selfish and immature. <laughs> Um, but he, it is granted to him, and so he goes off and he squanders it until we know that he's literally eating with the pigs, and he kind of comes to himself and figures it's a pretty good idea to go home and apologize. Now, we know that the apology is sincere because, you know, there are two parts to any sincere apology. Number one is, I'm sorry. Number two is, how can I make this right? And the son does just that. He realizes that there is work to be done um, when he comes home for his father. So I definitely see myself as a prodigal because, um, you know, I have, I have on occasion looked at my heavenly father and said, thank you so much. I have everything I need now. I can do this on my own. And I turn and I try to go my own way and then I find myself, you know, I have exhausted all of my possibilities, all of my inheritance, and I, that's a time for repentance that I have to go back. And you know, when we go back, we are celebrated just like the sun was. Every one of these parables in Luke 15 um, talks about a celebration. It says that there is more, more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents. So not only are we forgiven, but we are celebrated. And, you know, I think as, as a true repentance, we realize that we have work to do that's going to honor God. Um, we, we go back and we ask for forgiveness, and then we're ready to do the work that is pleasing and productive for our Father, just like, um, just like the prodigal son. Then we have the older brother. The older brother who is ready to be very vindictive because, like I said, he represents the religious. So he's always done what he's supposed to do. He's followed the rules. He's been obedient to his father. He's, And he's had to stand by and watch and experience the hurt that his father has been put through um, by this younger brother of his. And so he is not ready to forgive. He has this... Um, he almost feels like if he can continue to be mad at him, then that's going to, um, you know, really put him in his place and give him what he deserves. And I, you know, in my heart, I want to be that prodigal's father and um, be forgiving, but it is really hard. And, you know, I have to ask God to 
humble me because in truth I'm the one that's being hurt by not forgiving and to be constantly living from that perspective of vindication on someone who has messed up and then that brings us to the father oh this father he is just he is so filled with grace um, and from a world standpoint to an absolute fault because he gives it all away without hesitation and you know how how like our heavenly father is that he does he doesn't hold back everything that he has is ours and what really gets me about this um, this father and I, I hope I say this in a way that it that it means as much to you as it does to me he is poised to forgive this father has decided forgiveness before the offense has even taken place you know in a perfect world and the more we grow to be like our our father in heaven we begin to decide ahead of time that no matter what the offense no matter what the wrong we are going to forgive and and when we are poised to forgive like that I think it brings breakthrough even sooner you know that if that father had been hard-hearted and stubborn and oh if he get, when he gets back I'm gonna show him and I'm gonna then I don't know that the son would have returned as quickly I don't know that he would have come to his place of awakening as quickly and so I know for me that's one of my prayers make a prodigal's father of me that no matter no matter who it is whether it's a family member where whether it's you know someone at work or at church father let me decide forgiveness before it's even necessary that's love and that's when we are seeing people the way God sees us God knows we're gonna mess up and he still loves us and he still has everything in his inheritance and he says here you go hey sharing God's Word is as easy as sharing this video if this meant a lot to you please share like subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day until next time slow down and take the dirt road believer